Words of Encouragement This is part 6 of the series of videos where I give 7 verses and passages of encouragement, one for each day of the week. I release these videos every Sunday, the first day of the week. The seventh verse or passage is devoted to the keeping of the Ten Commandments, which includes the Lord's seventh day Sabbath of the fourth commandment. I hope and pray you're all blessed by everything you watch here today. Philippians 3, 13 through 14. Brethren, I count not myself to have apprehended, but this one thing I do, forgetting those things which are behind and reaching forth unto those things which are before, I press toward the mark for the prize of the high calling of God in Christ Jesus. 2 Chronicles 7.14 If my people which are called by my name shall humble themselves, and pray, and seek my face, and turn from their wicked ways, then will I hear from heaven, and will forgive their sin, and will heal their land. Proverbs 27.5-6 Open rebuke is better than secret love. Faithful are the wounds of a friend, but the kisses of an enemy are deceitful. Romans 5.19-21 for as by one man's disobedience many were made sinners, so by the obedience of one shall many be made righteous. Moreover, the law entered that the offense might abound. But where sin abounded, grace did much more abound. That as sin hath reigned unto death, even so might grace reign through righteousness unto eternal life by Jesus Christ our Lord. Acts 2, 17-18 And it shall come to pass in the last days, saith God, I will pour out of my spirit upon all flesh, and your sons and your daughters shall prophesy, and your young men shall see visions, and your old men shall dream dreams. And on my servants and on my handmaidens will I pour out in those days of my spirit, and they shall prophesy. Psalm 86, 3-5 Be merciful unto me, O Lord, for I cry unto thee daily. Rejoice the soul of thy servant, for unto thee, O Lord, do I lift up my soul. For thou, Lord, art good, and ready to forgive, and plenteous in mercy unto all them that call upon thee. And finally, Psalm 111, 7-8. The works of his hands are verity and judgment. All his commandments are sure. They stand fast forever and ever, and are done in truth and uprightness. I hope and pray that you are all blessed by everything you watched here today. I love you all. God bless.